So coming up now is the men gold medal game. Team USA, Team Serbia, the two top dogs. Will it be Dusan Bullet or will it be Michael Omar? And company taking care of business. First up is Team Serbia. Sub Zero, Dejan Majstorovic. The number one player in the world, Dusan Bullet, with another opportunity to win gold at the World Championships. He came up short in 2014, falling to Qatar. And his good buddy, Savage, he grew up with. They have that chemistry. They're linked like a chain, the Serbian team. Anaconda for Team USA. Former college star, his freshman year in Missouri, especially. And then there's Michael, my Henry. Big Dog Lich, AKA Happy Feet. Vons McKinney. Serbian Team USA going for gold. This is the one you wanted to see, and you're about to get it. So another look at the brackets and how we got to this point. Serbia with a couple of really tough games to advance out of the quarterfinals and the semifinals. The USA's road might have been even tougher as they met up with Qatar, the defending champs from 2014 in the quarterfinal, got past Qatar, and then also beat Slovenia. Meantime for Serbia, they breezed past the Netherlands and then beat Spain to get to this point. So the crowd is hyped up. Your announcer's hyped up, and I know you are at home. The Team USA and Serbia getting ready to do battle here for the gold medal game. Now in 2012 at the World Championships, Serbia was able to get past Team USA in the quarterfinals. Again, this is a different United States team. At the 2014 World Championships, Serbia also defeated the USA, this time in the last 16 round. So the men of Team USA had never medaled prior to this third edition of the World Championship. They will medal regardless here this time. But they say the first time we medal, we want it to be gold. Marco Savage, the crafty passer for Team Serbia, and the dead-on shooter, number one ranked player in the world, Dusan, Mr. Bullet, Bullet. See his uh, lip taped up. He was involved in a pretty physical game with Team Spain. Looks like he's good to go. McKinney's got those rocket boosters for legs all warmed up. He took silver in the slam dunk competition just a short while ago. And we'll see how much juice he has left in those legs. Get Stefan Hanna, a.k.a. Anna Con Hanna Con with his teammate, I should say. It's late in the evening. Mike Omar Henry from the west side of Chicago. He just finished his college career at DePaul. And he's an all around star. I mean, he does it all defends, he dunks, he shoots. Lich, aka Happy Feet. 
Kavon has been a great contributor on this team. Strong down low, magnificent rebounder. There's Stefan Hanna, a.k.a. the Hanna Conda. Favorite players, Allen Iverson. Again, played summer league and preseason games with various NBA teams, including the Bulls in 2015. He's also a two-time D-League Defensive Player of the Year. D-League champ in 2011. So Team Slovenia, who they, uh, who they beat in the semifinal game, is hanging around to see who's going to take gold. Dejan Majstorovic, one of many shooters on this Serbian squad. And they've got Serbia across their chest here at the World Championships, but on the professional circuit of the 3x3 World Tour, they've won three Masters and are going to compete in the World Tour Final in Abu Dhabi in about a week and a half. So once this game is complete, the members of the Serbia team will still have some work to do this summer. So now that everybody's warmed up, we've gotten to the grand finale. This is the headline. The gold medal game on the men's side, Team USA against Team Serbia. The seasoned veterans who've been there and done that with Dusan Bullet and company or the new kids on the block. We've got a little flash to them. So it's the 2016 FIBA 3x3 World Championships, the third edition, going down in Guangzhou, China, with a gold medal on the line between Team USA and Team Serbia. All right. Play some music for us, please. As the anticipation continues to build, Team USA devising a strategy. These guys have never been on this stage before, but they're undefeated since making their 3x3 debut with their charismatic star, Mike Omar Henry, leading the way. to be a matchup with the top two scores on the men's side is Dusan Dominique Bullet, aka Mr. Bulletproof, leads the men's division with 50 points, and Mike Omai Henry right on his heels with 45. It'll likely be uh, up to both of those guys to determine who's going to win this game. Your best player has got to elevate to a new level when the gold medal is on the line. So here we go. Team USA right, wins the toss. And, and they get the rock first. Anaconda guarded by Bullet. Toying with the rock behind the back on him. But Bullet with some aggressive defense. And this is the team he said he wanted to meet in the final. Well, you got what you asked for, Mr. Bulletproof. Let's see if you guys can handle it. The maestro with the miss. That's going to be white ball off of Anaconda's foot. And you won't find a more competitive player than Dusan Bullet. And I mean that. Marco Sub-Zero to the maestro. He pulls up, and he's fouled by Mike Henry. Hard to argue with uh, that foul call. And that might be a little bit of nerves. You don't, you don't want to contest a shot like that. You want to run out with your hand up, but you don't want to leave your feet. It's a good way to draw a foul and earn the maestro a couple of free throws. 
But uh, I actually got a chance to talk to both of these teams, and uh, they've been keeping an eye on each other throughout uh, this tournament. And both of these teams want to play the best. Team USA felt like Serbia was probably the better team, the best team, not named themselves. And uh, <laughs> Serbia felt the same way. So I asked Dusan what he thought of them. He says, man, they're good. He said, I want to see them in the final. <laughs> so here we go. It's 2-1. Maestro. With the foul on McKinney. Anaconda to Henry. Henry guarded by Savage. Trying to create some space and some pesky defense from Savage. And Henry still gets the score. You, you got to be ready to do battle. Because uh, Henry's not going to turn it down a notch. Matter of fact, he's going to turn it up. Beautiful backdoor feed. And McKinney there for the block. Oh, goal 10. So 3-2. Mike Omar Henry. Kicks it to Hannah Conda. Been struggling with a shot a little bit today. Decides to drive and he misses the layup. Foul call on the play. He's going to get a shot at the free throw strike. And a chance to even things up. Hannah Conda. Free throw is good. His favorite song is American Dreaming by Jay-Z. I like that cut too. I like that cut even better from Savage as he takes the feed and gets the score. Henry taking it all by himself, but he's called for the travel. He took a bump and shuffled his feet. Henry playing pretty aggressively at the start here. Be careful not to get too hyped up here in the gold medal game. Savage swings it over to Dusan. Bullet, he pulls it. And he's off the target on the two-point shot. Hannah Hezzy on Savage. Soft touch in the paint. And the teardrop is good. Four up. Nobody moves the rock like Team Serbia. They got more chemistry than your high school class. They've been playing together for a long time. Sub-Zero. Can't hit the two. And he's called for the foul. Foul number three on Team Serbia. And you may recall earlier I said that that might be their only weakness as they tend to get in foul trouble. Hanaconda trying to give Dusan that work. He drops it off to Lich and Happy Feet can't finish it. Savage try to force the pass in there. Litz goes to the ground to get it. Hanaconda fires the two ball. Bang, bang. 6-4 lead for Team USA. Savage to Bullet. And he's got uh, the size advantage. He goes right past Hannah. And Mike Henry won't, won't even give Dusan a freebie layup. There's none of that. And I don't think you're going to intimidate Dusan Bullet. Even if you block his shot after, after the foul has been called. Dusan, feed down to the maestro. Smart decision to kick it out to an open Savage, who normally will knock that down. He misses, and Henry's long on the two. Hannah with the rebound. Litch saves it. Happy feet going at the maestro. He's got the size, but he's called for five seconds. Can't have your back to the basket posting up for more than five seconds. 3x3 rule. Litch a little bit new to the scene. Might not have known that, but now he knows. And now you know how that you cannot guard that backdoor cut as Savage bounces it into Bullet. And then Maestro takes Hannah Conda's cookies. And then Savage gives him a two on top of that. Serbia takes the lead, seven to six. Litch posting up Bullet. Over the top, plus the foul, and one. Another look at it. 
I told you before, Litt's been eating his Wheaties. About three minutes has passed in this one. Hey, make that. Another one. Lane violation, so he's going to get another free throw attempt here. And Litch is good on the second free throw. 8-7. Gold medal on the line. Maestro. Can't orchestrate a made shot. Henry clears it. Oh, deed up by Sub-Zero. With eight seconds on the shot clock. Another look back at some of the highlights so far in this one. And it has been as good as you would expect it to be. Anaconda finding some space. And a floater in the paint. Ridiculous pass from Sub-Zero to Savage. As you see that, uh, that chemistry from Serbia on full display. Bottoms on the shot. We got ourselves an eight to seven game, 6.55 on the clock. Anaconda. He can't hit it. Savage to the Maestro. Maestro, Dusan Bullet. And he's shooting the kill here in the gold medal game. Anaconda to Henry, gathers the ball and scores it. And USA evens it at nine apiece to Maestro. Defended pretty well by Henry. Now Henry guarding Bullet. Great defense on the play. Now Bullet's turn to guard against Henry. And Henry just pulling his way to the basket. And he gets it to go down plus the foul. Even though he was mauled by Dusan Bullet. Get another look at that as Bullet wraps him up. And Henry still manages to get the shot up and in. So a chance to convert here at the free throw strike. Uh, and Henry, too long on the free throw. So only a one point advantage for Team USA. Savage, oh, he just blew the crib. He wanted a foul as Happy Feet Litch. Uh, he's in a bad position, deed up by Bullet. Savage kicks it, sub-zero, locked and loaded from two range, rattles out, bullet there for the rebound and the score. Anaconda with the move, but McKinney with the follow. Sub-Zero, waiting for uh, the Maestro to come through. And Henry elevates for the block. Now he's taking it at the Maestro, loses the rock. Probably should have swung it. The Maestro, up fake, lets the two fly, he misses. And McKinney touches the top of the backboard to get the rebound. Going at Dusan and scores as the Americans are too strong on the inside. Maestro on the drive, he's fouled, and he goes down. These are two heavyweights, ladies and gentlemen, going back and forth. And the Serbian fans letting their team hear it. With a chance to tie here as we approach the five minute mark. Five fouls on Serbia, four on Team USA. Maestro, free throw is good. The Maestro with the hustle is going to be out of bounds on Sub-Zero. You got to love it. 
Nothing but respect between these two teams for each other. I can tell you that. Anaconda, Hezzy, in the paint, fade away. Nope. Dusan Bullet, open for two, and he misses it. So zero, rebound and the score. 13-12 game, four and a half to play. Anaconda to Mike Omar Henry. Takes a tough shot, and he goes off the glass. How did he make that? Bullet on the attack. He pulls the two, and he goes off the wind deck. Call him Mr. Glass. And I ain't talking about Samuel L either. Fifteen, thirteen. Hannah Kana trying to answer with a deuce. Dusan. Foul by Michael Ma Henry. Timeout on the floor. I don't think I'm going to have a voice at the end of this one. What a game between Team USA and Team Serbia for the gold medal here in Guangzhou, China. Dusan lets one fly. He wanted a foul. He's saying that uh, that was tipped. Serbia ball, five seconds on the shot clock. The maestro, long ball. Oh, yeah. 17 14. Team Serbia. Has taken the lead here with 340. The crowd let them hear it. Here the Serbia chance. Team USA looks to compose themselves. Two possession game, five fouls apiece. And Henry with a silly foul there. That's foul number six on Team USA. One more and they're in the penalty. Bullet with the pass to Savage as the Serbians run that play to perfection. Henry misses, but McKinney with the one-handed punch. Dusan, Maestro, jab stack, kick to Dusan. Dusan back to Maestro, and the score. Team Serbia, four-point lead. Anaconda now. He's going to chuck up the deuces. And he connects. 16 to 19 game. Serbia can win it with a two. Team USA still in this. Three minutes to play. Six fouls on Team USA, five on Serbia. Dusan with a mismatch here, guarded by the larger McKinney. Now Dusan with Henry on him. Gets the toy for the game winner. Team Serbia says the gold is ours here in Guangzhou. So Team USA forced to settle for silver as the number one player in the world going, goes and joins his Serbian fans in celebration after taking gold here in Guangzhou at the World Championships. Great game. You could not ask for more out of a gold medal game between the two best men's teams out here in Guangzhou. All right. Michael, my Henry and company with a tough loss, but nothing to hang their heads about. They're the new 
kids on the block and they serve notice. And Team Serbia uh, ha has their respect. And I'm sure the other way around as well as Dusan Bullet is coming and congratulating each of the players on the team. That's what competitors do, and that's what uh, real basketball players do. So props to Team Serbia. Getting the win and showing some love with Mike Omai, Henry and company. And uh, Mike standing by, getting ready to hear from our Julian DeBuff down on the sideline. Mike, Julian. I know disappointing times. Head of the final. And serve the win. You get a silver medal. Well, they, made, they made more plays than more than us down the stretch. They hit shots, tough shots, and we didn't make shots. But we still play hard, so I mean, they, it's a well-deserved win. Before we came here, the USA men, they have never won a medal. What do you think it means that you come back home with a silver medal? I mean, it's not what we wanted, but I mean, at least we play second. They play well, and they deserve the gold medal that they got. The good thing is, the season's not over. The three three season's not over. You're back in less than two weeks in Abu Dhabi for the World Tour Final. Speak about how motivated you will be to come back and beat these guys here. Well, I mean, we're going to be super motivated when we get back to the States. We're going to practice hard for these guys. We're going to watch film and see what we did wrong in there. We're going to take it from there. All right, congratulations on a great tournament. And now Dusan Bullet, number one player in the world, chatting with Julian DeBuff. How's he feel about that win, Julian? Dusan, before the tournament, you explain how bitter you were about the 2014 final, the loss against Qatar. You wanted to come back and get this gold medal again around your neck. And there it is. Surprise, surprise, kings are back. Let's speak about this final. Very competitive against this American team. They beat the reigning world champs, they beat the European champs, but they couldn't beat you in the final. Uh, we play against team like them. Uh, they didn't play against team like us, so it was a little bit surprise for them, not for us. Two words about your team, because it was a team effort, right? There were a lot of question marks before you arrived. My Storovic had an ankle injury. It was a long season, but that was the preparation. That was the objective of the season. Talk about the team and how all of them contributed to this gold medal here. We, everything we do, we, 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 we separate on four parts. Money, sponsors, fame, girls. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, everything. We play, American team is really good. If we, we play one-on-one -on -one with them, we will lose. We play 3x3 three, 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 uh, three three against them and we won because we know to play how, uh, we know to play as a team. And that is, that is the key thing. Uh, objective of the season are always is, is every next game, every next tournament. We want to compete and, and prove every, every team that we are the best, uh, best team in the world. World Championship, you know, good pickup game in Lima, you know, Abu Dhabi final. You know, we always that the mentality that we want to win every game. I know you always say that playing for the national shirt, for the Serbian flag, means the world to you. What is the feeling? In, in five words, what's the feeling right now? I can't describe it because after 2012, I, I thought that I never gonna experience something like that. 2016, we are back in a, with the gold medal. All my friends, childhood friends from Lima, are sitting beside me, you know, and cheering. It's like it's like the traditional pickup game in Liman. Four of us playing, you know, and, and, and these guys always was on the bench and playing with us, you know, the supporters. It's great, it's a great feeling. Congratulations, Mr. MVP. The Dusan Bullet getting some love from the fans here. Well deserved. Because he's gonna likely be the MVP after being the scoring leader here in Guangzhou at the third edition of the World Championships. And what a journey it has been over the last five days, let me tell you. 80 pool games, 40 teams, 
represented by 28 countries. 16 entered the day, and only three medal. And we just saw the men's gold medal game. 